Mm-hmm. Our accelerator was depending on the, the the beam three to six times more powerful than the most powerful settings of the LHC. Hmm. So we would have discovered the Higgs boson decades ago. And perhaps either at that time or in, in the resulting decades, other things. Because well, thank you, other things, perhaps other things. Right. But once you get there, now you ask the next question. Right. It's Which a is, new place to stand. You never stop. And you have right. a proscenium looking beyond. Looking what else is Exactly. Out there. Right. It's never about the question you even know to ask. So the, it's so, the question you haven't thought of yet. Right. Because there's a place you will soon stand that will give you a view that you didn't even know is possible. And based on that perspective, the setback is almost exponential in a way, right? Because well, no, we, we no. don't know what we don't know, no. and that's a shame. You don't know what you don't know, correct. And that's deep and important and real. Uh, they're trying to boost the energies of the LHC mm. to go to the next level there. Mm. So that was getting back to the specifics of the question. Yeah. The discovery of the Higgs boson was delayed decades because of that decision. Mm. But science is science. It's not about uh, the creativity of an individual. If Beethoven did not compose the Ninth Symphony, if Van Gogh did not paint The Starry Night, mm. no one who will ever be born in the future will compose or paint that. Right. Whereas in science, you can be very creative and be ahead of everybody, but eventually everybody catches up and we move beyond it. Mm. Because what decides what is true is not the public's voting on, oh, we like your artwork. 